Hey everyone, welcome back to the New Center Final for a Wednesday night. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about the weather. It was nice to see the rain this evening because it helps to reduce that uh, potential for fire danger. We always got to see that. And uh, as far as our weather is concerned, we're looking at the rain to be ending and uh, better conditions heading into the weekend. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. Temperatures look like this today. Our high was 59, the low last night 41, the record high 70 degrees. In 2005, seven for the overnight low in 1909. Your sunrise and sunset, 16 hours and 40 minutes of daylight. That's a gain of seven minutes from yesterday. And looking at that uh, radar and satellite, you can see all that moisture that moved through the Fairbanks area early this evening, and it is behind it. We're not looking at much going on, so it looks like things should be clearing up and getting better. More rain falling across southeast Alaska. A few scattered showers around the Prince William Sound area, not even making it into the Anchorage area because it's being blocked out by the Chugach Range there. As far as the rest of the state is concerned, you can see the rain falling around the Juneau and Ketchikan areas. Only 46 degrees for the high in Juneau. How about that? Anchorage 54, partly cloudy skies. More showers around the Kodiak region. 43 degrees though. Chilly. Cold Bay, even cooler, 42 degrees, cloudy skies, 54 for the high in Bethel, 42 at Nome, and Barrow, 25 degrees, not too bad, with a Fort Yukon at 47, 57 degrees. Lower 48 weather, not too much going on, on the west coast, a few scattered showers. The big news is the storms that were hammering the uh, deep south over the last day or so are starting to move out rapidly to the east. That's good news. They're losing a lot of their power, too. Although there is still quite a bit of rain and even some mixed rain and snow falling to the north uh, along this area of low pressure. And uh, what does it mean as far as the rest of the country is concerned? Well, out west, we're looking at another storm system taking shape that will once again be fueling the possibility of more severe thunderstorm activity across the uh, central plains with a jet stream way down to the south. And speaking of the jet stream, the newest updated jet stream map, as you can see, another big trough of low pressure out to the west, even some snow maybe in the Salt Lake City area. More severe storms expected to the south over the weekend and over the uh, eastern half of the country too. All right, now taking a look at our weather fact for today, and it's uh, kind of a dreary one. In 2011, from the uh, deep south to the Tennessee Valley, 305 tornadoes in a two-day period killed 300, and that brought the death toll to the month of April, in the month of April, to 600, a very volatile month uh, in that year. But on the good news side, the thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather because next week the kids will be returning from uh, Joy Elementary School with lots of fun things to share with you. All right, here's our forecast. First of all, for the northern sections tomorrow, freezing drizzle for Barrow, showers for Nome, and also at Port Yukon. Here in the interior, well, it looks like just a few sprinkles for the Fairbanks area, but mostly sunny skies at Healy and scattered clouds expected at Delta Junction. Over southeast Alaska, we're looking at widespread rain uh, all the way from Juneau to Ketchikan, and the temperature is once again very cool. Over the southwest part of the state, rain expected for Cold Bay, light rain for Kodiak, and isolated showers for Bethel. And down around the Anchorage Bull, looks like uh, partly cloudy skies for Anchorage with showers for Valdez and Homer. Want to pass along one quick note, we have an ice jam warning. Yeah, it's that time of year already. The road to Eagle Village is closed due to flooding, but the city of Eagle is still accessible by the Taylor Highway, and they're expected to, this situation is not expected to get any worse because uh, of the temperatures that have been going on, but good to know and keep it updated. And as far as our forecast for tonight, the widespread showers we've had throughout the night are gonna slowly diminish. 35 for the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast, Continue cloudy, a few sprinkles, but still looking at around 62 degrees. And the extended forecast, maybe some showers once again by Monday and Tuesday, but temperatures will be hovering right around the 60 degree mark each day. And overnight lows will also be very comfortable in the mid 30s to upper 30s. Taking a look at our photograph for tonight, this one was sent in by uh, Nancy Ellis in Delta Junction, a very deep red sunset. Gorgeous picture. As always, if you have a photograph to share, send to photos at ktvf11.com. And before we go tonight, KTVF and Bailey's Furniture are teaming up again for the annual Spring Dream giveaway. That's right, Darrell. Watch the evening news for the first half of a word, then go to Bailey's Furniture for the second half and enter for a chance to win $2,500 in furniture. You're so correct, Mike. And the word this week is sleeper. All right. All right. And happy birthday. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very Mike much. Mike will be gone for his birthday, so... 
It's an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. And that will wrap up this edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. We are glad you could join us. Tonight on NBC Nightly News, presidential candidate Ted Cruz today named Carly Fiorina as his running mate if he gets the GOP nomination. That's up next with Lester Holt. You can join us here six days a week at 6 and 11 or online anytime at webcenter11.com. From all of us here at the News Center, have a phenomenal night. Good night.